What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Out channel. In this video, I'm bringing you a very powerful, overpowered attack strategy. The Town Hall 10 Frozen Witches attack strategy. The April update just came out a few days ago. And uh, the Witches got an upgrade, Hogs got an upgrade, Ice Golems, all that good stuff. Season challenges, and there's tons of YouTubers that have already covered it. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering the most overpowered attack strategy right now in Clash of Clans, which is the Frozen Witch Attack. Good God, this attack cannot be stopped. I tried anti-witch bases, I tried regular center town hall bases, anti-three bases, nothing can stop this strategy as long as the attacker follows a few rules while performing the attack. If you do these things while you use this attack strategy, you're guaranteed a three star every single time. Now, I'm not saying I didn't fail with this attack strategy, while I was practicing with it, but I'm saying that as long as I made sure that I was doing what I had to do and following the steps in order to guarantee the three star, I got the three star. All right, so we're gonna break it down through each replay and uh, I'm gonna show you how powerful this attack is. Before we jump into the replays though, um, let's look at the army composition for this attack strategy right now. It's uh, four archers, three wizards, four healers, 14 witches, a heal, a rage, seven freezes, and then in your wall wreck, you're gonna want a giant max bowlers, and then a poison. And of course you have your heroes. Okay, first replay we got here. This is a friendly challenge against one of my bases. All the replays I'm gonna be showing are gonna be friendly challenges because I really want to test out how powerful this strategy really is. And uh, so we're gonna start off with some friendly challenges against my own bases. They have CC troops in there. They're at their full strength and we're gonna see how this strategy absolutely obliterates bases. Very powerful attack strategy. We're gonna start the replay here. It's gonna start off like a normal witch slap. You're gonna pick a side to attack from. You should try to avoid where the air defenses are, you know, take note of their radius, take note of where the, you know, if there's any multi inferno towers and stuff like that. Just always be wary of where you wanna place your healers and witches. But there you go, start of a normal witch slap. You got five up in the right corner, five up in the left corner, and then I got the four in the middle with the wall record. Now, so, I'm gonna pause it here just so I can explain it before it goes through with it. Your freezes, you have seven freezes. Freezes are going to be used, and as you do this attack strategy, you're gonna get better and better at it. You're gonna use your freezes to target multiple targets that are targeting your wall wrecker, and then if your witches on the outside are struggling. All right, so I'm gonna keep playing here. And then also your goal with the wall wrecker is to break open both of the Inferno Towers. So what that means is, so these are split up right here. So what I'm gonna try to do is break both of these open so I can get to both of them and take them down. All right, first freeze went down there on both of these defenses, the Cannon and the Wizard Tower, because you know I want that wall record to at least make it to the middle. And once it gets to that Town Hall, there goes that another freeze. Heal, Rage for the Bowlers, and then it's gonna smash through that. Boom, another freeze goes down, another freeze goes down. I'm just trying to keep them alive because they're close enough to where they can, you know, hit the towers over the wall. That's why I wanted to use those freeze on them. CC troops come out. Make sure you save your poison and a couple freezes for the CC troops, especially if the wall record is in the path of the CC troops. You're going to see that in a couple replays. And uh, there goes that last freeze on the CC troops. CC troops aren't really a big deal as long as you have a couple freezes and, those, and that poison to take them down. But as you can see... It's pretty much decimating the base, and there's still a lot left. There's, you know, I got trap Teslas on my base on the back side here, but it's just so many witches. I would definitely expect a nerf for this strategy coming very soon. I know they nerfed it way back when, but now with the new update in April, you know, they they bumped up the witches from they, they bumped up the max witch level, and then you know every town hall that uses witches got an extra level. I think except for town hall nine. So it's crazy how strong this strategy is. It's really really powerful. And like I said, I've messed up the attack and I haven't been able to get three star with every single attack, but when I followed the steps in order to get the, you know, the right pathing and taking down the CC and then, you know, making sure I open up the compartments for both of the towers, it's resulted in easy three stars every single time, even against anti-witch bases. Okay, second replay we got here. Now this is an anti three star style base instead of the center town hall. And uh, same process, all right? You're gonna take note of the, where the air defenses are. You're gonna notice their radius. Make sure you are aware of where you put your healers and stuff like that, so that way, you know, you're not losing your healers too early and your witches are, you know, exposed and stuff like that. Just a little bit of planning and you'll be easily three-starring at tons of bases. Also, notice that the <laughs> Inferno Towers are completely separated from each other. So they're really, really far apart from each other, so you really need to path your wall wrecker in a way to open up both of the compartments. That's your job. You really want to take down both of the Inferno Towers. All right, so this one's a multi, and this one's a single. Town Hall's right here, so I'm going to bring my wall wrecker from the three o'clock corner through the base, and I'm going to be freezing defenses, I'm gonna be freezing the CC, and I'm gonna be freezing any heroes that 
target my wall wrecker. Heroes and CC and then, you know, a good concentration of defenses can really take down your wall wrecker pretty quickly. And you don't want your wall wrecker to go down before opening up both compartments where the towers are, all right? All right, so we're gonna start the replay here and I'm gonna start at this top left corner with five witches and only one healer. Look at the radius on this air defense. It covers that entire quadrant pretty well. So I know that healer is going to be targeted. So I don't wanna use both of my healers right away. I wanna save one so I can take down the air defense before dropping my other healer. And then my five down here, you can see I've already started my wall wrecker, wizards. It's a very easy attack strategy. Now at this point, you're just observing, observation. I, I kind of put down that first freeze a little too quickly. The air defense wasn't targeting anything. I thought the witches would move a little quicker, but they didn't. All right, so now you're just observing how your witches move to the base. You gotta observe the left side, the right side. You gotta make sure that they aren't being targeted too much and being killed off too quickly. All right, so this is the important part. So I'm getting four different defenses in this compartment. I got the tower, wizard tower, cannon, and then of course, the CC troops. Big, big bonus right there as I freeze them multiple times because I have multiple freezes and I take them down with my wizards and witches and the queen and all that good stuff. All right, queen's gonna focus on that wall wrecker now. We need, we need to put a freeze, that last freeze on her so we can slow down her attack because she does a lot of damage to the wall wrecker. Wall wrecker makes it to the town hall and it actually breaks before breaking through the compartment. Heal and rage is for your bowlers only. Do not use the heal and rage for your witches or your heroes. You can see here, I kind of put the rage and heal with the queen. She was kind of there with the bowlers, but use that heal and rage for the bowlers. And as you can see, um, again, the base has gotten completely decimated by this attack strategy. There's not a lot of defenses left and there's tons of witches. Both of my heroes, the bowlers are up and I'm just gonna speed through it here because this is another Easy to show. Like I said, the first one I actually failed because when I attacked, I actually attacked a little narrow. I think I attacked from like here to here. And I dropped, that's where I dropped him and I didn't get the three star because this little quadrant up here was still alive. So I was like, okay, cool. I found a base I could actually stop its attack strategy. Then I did it again and I fixed it and I was like, oh, well, there's another three star. Okay, next replay we got here, we got an anti three star. This is base, this is an anti witch base. This is an anti witch side base, anti bow witch. These four corner bases are designed to fight against the witches and bowlers. These types of bases are really susceptible to La Loon or hogs, but Bow Witch is what it's supposed to be good at defending, or witches in general, and it still could not hold up against it. All right, so we're gonna play it here, and uh, what you need to do, like I said in the previous two one, is open up both compartments of where the Inferno Towers are, this one and this one. So there's two isolated Inferno Towers that need to be opened up here, so I got left side, I got my witches on this side, and I got my witches on the right side, followed by the healers. And now, here comes my wall wrecker, those four extra witches, king, and I believe I dropped my queen a little late. But look at the pathing of the wall wrecker. Watch, you gotta notice this now. So when you're doing this attack strategy and you go against this type of base, like I said, I wouldn't recommend using it, but I just want to test its power against this type of base. The pathing of the wall wrecker is perfect because it opens up both of them. I get the corner here of this compartment, right? So that's open. Freeze goes down, another freeze goes down that king. Remember, heroes do a lot of damage. Don't be afraid to use your freezes against the heroes or anything else that's targeting the wall wrecker a lot. Single Inferno Towers are also very, very deadly to the wall wrecker, as you can tell. And there it goes. So I broke it open here and I broke it open here. Both compartments are open. I now have access to both of the towers and I can get to both of them with my witches and heroes and anything else that's in the middle right there. Bowlers are coming out. Heal and Rage are down and this base is going to get completely demolished by witches. So both towers are down, witches on the left side, witches on the right side, I got tons of troops in the middle here. This base has been completely decimated by the attack that it's supposed to defend. And it's a little scary that there is no Town Hall 10 base right now that can stop this attack strategy. I honestly, I, it's super powerful. Expect, like I said, expect a nerf to come anytime soon. Like I said, they've nerfed this attack before, but because of the new April update, Town Hall 10s now have access to level 3 witches, which has made them super powerful. Frozen Witch, guys, definitely would recommend. Get your witches up and use it as quickly as you can before they nerf it and take away all their powers. But this strategy is unbeatable at the moment right now. The next objective will be to find a base that can stop it. All right, like I said, I've failed with this attack strategy. The first two attacks against the last two bases. So the last two bases that I've showed, I've actually failed in the first time I attacked them. But it was because I messed up 
the fundamental, I messed up the steps. So what you want to do is first of all take notice of the air defenses, all right? So if the air defenses are close to the outside, you want to put your witches and healers in a spot where if they're going to walk down that path, make sure, you know, they'll be safe. You know, the, the witches can take down the air defenses or perhaps the healers won't be in the way and they won't be taken down easily. It's all about analyzing how you're going to deploy your side witches. And then once you've done that, you need to identify how to get to both infernal towers and take them down with the bowler, with the wall wrecker. I mean, that's technically what the wall wrecker is for. Open up both compartments, take down the infernal towers. That is the main objective of the wall wrecker. If you can't do that, you're going to have a hard time restart in the base. While you're doing both of those things, you're going to be freezing compartments and uh, giant groups of defenses like you saw in the replays. Anywhere you, where you can get two or three defenses at once that are targeting, you know, multiple witches or maybe they're targeting your wall wrecker. Freeze them and then of course use your freezers for CC troops. Any heroes that are targeting your wall wrecker, freeze those, poison them, all that good stuff. Guys, this is the most powerful attack strategy right now in Classic Clans. And uh, I would definitely not hesitate to get your witches up and use this in war, smash your opponents. I don't think there's a base that can stop it right now. I will definitely work on finding a base that can stop this attack strategy, but this attack strategy is the most popular attack strategy I've ever seen so far. And uh, we'll see what happens and what Supercell decides to do about it. But as of right now, guys, I would definitely say use this strategy, get those witches up, and start smashing those Town Hall Tams because it's going to be super easy as long as you perform an attack well and you do the things like I said. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helped you guys. And let me know what you guys think about the strategy if you guys use it. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.